Ooh, there's a second guy. Yes. Oh, we got both the squads. <laughs> those free kills right there oh yes all right the flight path is very much in our favor boys we're gonna drop right into the jackal and turn around on those bots now the flight path is so important guys and it's very important to pay attention to it every single game because it can dictate how many kills you get and what you do throughout the entire match now see here's all these bots nice nice we got them all in one pass so that's three kills right off the bat. Look how quickly we got that. Now when the flight path goes by T3 refinery like it just did, there will almost always be anywhere from one to five, sometimes even six bots that drop right behind the runway. It's, it's glorious. So they provide very good practice and they also provide quick, easy kills right in the beginning of the game. But you do have to be quick because they will kill each other off. All right, let's see. Flight path, oh yes. Flight path went over crash site, and as you can see in the mini map right there, there are a lot of people. So we're gonna break right and see if we can't start picking them off. Now I like to let off the throttle a little bit when I'm engaging because it allows those white boxes to catch up. And depending on your, vi your device, the MS, your settings, the boxes can be quite jumpy. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. Man, those are some sweaty names. Dude right here. Oh yes, and he has a Ravager. Now remember, Ravagers cannot outpace the speed of the Jackal. So if someone shoots at you, don't worry. All right, you can use their terrain. You can outrun the missiles. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Andy. Hello, Andy. So yes, you can outrun the missiles, and the the Ravager actually works in our favor when we're in the air. And what I mean by that is. You can lock onto a Ravager from across the map. For whatever reason, it just lets you. And now you know where they are. Uh, he's in this tent right here. Oh, that was a bot. That bot was hiding in the tent. That's funny. He was moving like a real person there for a moment. All right. We're looking at the mini-map here. And if you ever noticed some of my prior videos, the mini-map, I've said this countless times, it is so important. You have to be constantly watching it for other jackals in the air, supply boxes, upgrade terminals. When you see the upgrade terminals taken, like right now, we're going to towards nuclear because someone took that. And they took the one further north. Let's see. Alright, so we got some people right here. We now know that there's a group of players right there by that upgrade terminal. And we're going to go check this one too. Alright. And there's two people down there. So I would have never went over here to check that had I not looked at the upgrade terminal and saw that it was taken. So now we can engage these people. Ooh. Perfect, perfect. All right, he's kind of in a, a decent position there. We're going to do a wide angle turn. Come around from the correct approach here. Correct angle. Here we go. All right, we didn't get his teammate, but we got the initial down. Coming in from the right angle is extremely important in the air. Because if you come in at the wrong angle where a building or a tree or some kind of obstacle is in your way, you're not going to get that down. They're going to use the cover to their advantage. And that's especially important when you start getting good enough to shoot through windows. Well, he's going to have to fight the zone here. Yes! Six Lulu. I like that name. That's a cool name. Alright, moving on. <laughs> I'm going to try to fill this video with as many tips and tricks as possible. Ooh, oh, this tree button is quite awkward. Alright, we're going to get the upgrade. Very, very important to get these upgrades, especially when the lobbies are really gunning for you. Because instead of 2% every time Refitter heals, heals your vehicle, it's going to be that 3%. And it really does add up. we go so now if you guys are having trouble landing or taking off I do have a short that I specifically focused on how to land I know some people have trouble with that that's in the playlist under tutorials 
We have two active helicopters. Three active helicopters. Oh my gosh, look at this helicopter over here leaving harbor. Once again, that's why the minimap is so important. All these helicopters are potential kills. There they are. Oop. Come on. Alright, pop flares. And... Oh, nice. Oh, it's Andy again. He hopped, but not in time. We did manage to get that. That was quite nice. Oh, well, alright then. We still have two other active helicopters. There's one by New Vision City, and it is going... Or, it's, or I mean, it's at the upgrade terminal. Oh, it's on the move, though. We're going to see if we can't go engage them before they get too deep into the circle. Stranding squads out in the bad zone. I know it comes off as a little bit toxic, and I do apologize if it does, but it is such a good tactic, because now they have to contend with you in the air and the zone eating down their main HP. And with the Jackal, you can actually... Oh, Oh, he's, he's got Scout. Okay. You don't see too many real players using Scout. It's kind of, that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can't get one down. Because if you get one down... Ooh, I can't believe he stayed in that helicopter. Jose! Alright, we got one down. So now, hopefully the other individual tries to res his teammate. I think he is. Yes. And there we go. Very nice. Bear. Bear, two, three, four. I uh, lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, with the Jackal, you can play in that bad zone so much more and so much longer than players on the ground. Even when uh, the zone has been moving in, it's towards the end of the match. Oh, he's going to hop in. Flares. Oh, we're out of missiles. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been a nice line of sight kill. That's okay, though. Final zone has a runway, which, well, at least the next zone has the runway, which is nice. Let's see here. We got some people down here below us. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and they're in a vehicle. When the white boxes are moving like that, yeah, it always means they're in a vehicle. Oh, we're out of missiles, though. Okay, we're going to land on the runway. We're going to save this jackal. It has three good flares. I'd rather have an extra jackal with three flares than... No extra jackal, right? So we're gonna land right here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a bit of a rough landing there. Hmm. Maybe I should watch my tutorial on how to land. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna re-engage this squad as quick as possible, because it looks like they were heading over to the T3 refinery, which put... Oh, okay, see, there's that Ravager. See what I'm talking about? You can lock on from so far away. Nice! Oop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, his teammate's probably going to try to res. Come on, let's see if we can get him. I think his teammate has the FHJ, too. Ooh, there's a second guy. Yes! Oh, we got both the squads. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. All right, moving on. Hmm. All right, we got him. that cliffside. Now, the terrain plays such an important role in how you engage people. Now, unfortunately for the players on the ground, this is one of the best parts of the entire map. Yes, yes, all right. Hur hurricane, hurricane? Hmm. Anyways, yes, this is one of the best parts of the entire map for me because you can really see those white squares. And yes, there's cliff sides for cover, there's some buildings, but for the most part, it's a big open space. Cowboy likes the desk, what can I say? So we got that squad, we're gonna go get some gear, why not? We are out of missiles with that jackal already. Nice. Oh, it didn't uh, blow up. All right, let's go blow the jackal up real quick. It will respawn on the runway, and then we will have a fresh jackal with 10 missiles. And three flares. Switching out the jackals is pretty much a must. For most games. I mean, I've stayed in the same Jackal the whole game, but yeah, it's nice to have a fresh one that you don't have to worry about. And the fact that this zone has a runway is very helpful to us. Nice, nice. 
200 ms. Oh no, I hope he wasn't actually having 200 ms. Oh man, he's playing that cover quite well. Oh, hello. More Ravager action, but as I said before, we're just going to outrun it. Not too much of a worry there. Hmm. I have been having my own 200 ms lag spikes. Mostly in multiplayer though. I am currently playing on a S21 Plus Samsung Ultra 5G. I think I said that all mixed up, but it's not bad. It's an older phone, but it does all right. I am contemplating an iPad or an Asus RAW. Yes. Now, the white boxes for me, I've gotten quite good at gauging where they're going to be based on their direction of travel. Oh no, he's getting some money. Oh boy, all right. When you see a player near the supply box, you really have to be on your toes because more than likely they're gonna pick up an FHJ. Okay. Yes. Oh, Mr. The Killer. I saw him in the kill feed quite a lot. Uh, I'm actually very happy that I downed him. Oh, that's his teammate right there. Oh, oh man, I didn't mean to kill Mr. The Killer just yet. I wanted to bait his teammate. I got greedy, folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anyone else out there has an Asus ROG or an iPad Pro, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Because I keep going back and forth between the two. I currently play on a phone, and it's it's not bad. But I couldn't imagine what kind of fun we could have if I had a phone that was just a little bit more powerful or an iPad. Now, I do want to throw it out there, I don't typically lag that much, so I, I don't have that much to complain about. I'm very thankful. Yes, very nice. 22 kills. Uh, oh, I think that's the final real guy. He's been playing cover quite well, and... Oh, come on. Zone's starting to hurt, too, a little bit. Oh, yes, Scorpion. Very nice, very nice. Alright, don't miss out guys. Click on that left video if you want to see me play with Parker the Slayer and the Jackal. And the right video is my recent one with Iferg. GG everybody. Thank you so much for watching.